team didn't have a virus or flu. I mean, is that, Mike, do you know anything about that? Is that your recollection? Um, you know, I think a couple guys, you know, had something. But like I said before, we're trying to focus on the next two games. Do you feel like a handsome brother? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I uh, I just try to play hard and physical every shift. And, uh, you know, that first play, um, I guess Doomy was speaking to Borny in French, so I didn't even get the, the clue that he was whacking the puck forward. But uh, once I saw him hit it forward, I just tried to get on the forecheck as hard as I can and um, laid the body. And, and then Borny and Doomy were right there in there after uh, the second puck. And uh, Doomy threw it out front, and I just happened to bury it. So Doomy and Borny were... were Potting the French, you're just kind of trailing the play. <laughs> yeah, they're they're. Uh, he was telling uh, Borny um, for the faceoff that he was going to hit it forward, and I was I had no idea what was going on, and uh, I just reacted and, and tried to get on the puck as fast as I can. Uh, how like when you have raw emotion like that after the game like, or after that goal, like Mike said, how does that feed the rest of the team? Uh, I think uh, any time you know guys like me score a goal, it lifts the whole team up, and um, you know there's so much fight in this team. Uh, we didn't play 76 games in the regular season, and and all the playoff games up until now to lay down. Um, so I think that was just accumulation of everyone's emotions um, and how bad we really wanted it tonight. Mike so described the, the, kind of the atmosphere between last night and tonight. Yeah. It's, it's kind of carefree, light. Yeah. How would you describe it? Did, did you feel the same I, way? I think, the, yeah, I felt the exact same way. There was no panic in this locker room. Um, you know, if you look at the three games that we've lost, or one goal games, we're in every single game. I think a lot of the times we shot ourselves in the foot. Um, you know, we're turning pucks over or we're taking too many penalties, and those are things you can clean up. And I think that's what we did tonight, and, uh, you know, look at the outcome. Do you feel it helped that you just had to get right back out there and play, didn't have time to think about it? Yeah, that helps. Um, anytime you, you don't have a couple of days to kind of sit and think about it. But, um, like I said, this team's resilient. Um, we're not going to lay down. We're, you know, we're excited for Tuesday. We can't, uh, we can't wait. What do you think of Mike's performance, not only tonight, but what he's been doing for you guys? I mean, he's... He's a, he's a vet for, for a reason. He's, uh, he's our backbone back there. Um, you know, our PK is you know, good for a reason because he's between the pipes. And he just gives us so much confidence um, you know, back there um, that even if they have 30, 40 shots, that you know, we're still in any game. I know there, it's different sports, when you, but when you've seen 3-1 leads go down in, you know, in other big stages, does it give you guys confidence? Do you guys talk about that kind of stuff? Yeah, that's why there's seven-game series. Uh, the fight's never over. You know, the fourth game is the hardest one to win. Um, so we know they're going to be back on their heels in Grand Rapids. So if we can get get that sixth game, then anything can happen in Game Seven. The way you finished the game last night, do you feel like some of that momentum carried over into the first period today? I think I think it did. I think they were kind of sitting back. I think they thought it was going to be a little easier tonight, um, and that's exactly what it, what didn't happen. So, um, but I, it's going to be a dogfight uh, for Game Six and Game Seven. So we got to be ready. What was it like in the locker room after the first period to have a comfortable five goal lead like that? Well, I think you can see in sports, uh, no lead is comfortable. Um, we just wanted to, you know, stay with our stick with our game plan, um, not sit back, try to stay on them. Um, you know, keep a third guy high to play a little safe, but um, again, try to keep the pressure on them so that they're not, you know, trying to get in our zone and, and keep the momentum uh, on our side.